Hey guys, what is up? This is Jaylus and today I'm gonna teach you how to change background of a subject and retain its original shadow. So first, let's grab our pencil and create a selection around our subject. Now right click, make selection and change the feather to 1 pixel. Now let's go to select, choose select in mask and let's use a refine edge brush tool and refine the edges of our hair. Now we can also go to the right side and adjust the radius and also the contrast to reveal more of the hair. And whenever you're satisfied, just press OK. Okay, so now let's click this icon and unlock this layer. Let's create a layer mask and let's drag our background to the canvas. Drag this below to our subject, press Ctrl T to adjust the size and match the scale of our subject. Now select your subject layer and press Ctrl J to duplicate. Select the lower layer mask, press Ctrl plus left click to show the selection and right click and delete the layer mask. Now select the lasso tool in the toolbar, right click on the canvas and choose select inverse. Now we have our background selected and let's create a layer mask. And in order for us to grab the shadow from the original subject, we need to remove our background by making it white. So let's click the adjustment layer icon, choose black and white. And since our background is colored cyan, let's drag the cyan to the right side and make it white. And just play around with the slider until you remove the unnecessary parts. Now let's go to our original image and change the blending mode from normal to multiply. And there you go, you have already retained the original shadow from your subject. Now let's go to adjustment layer icon again and choose levels, create a clipping mask and drag this one to the right side to increase the darkness of our shadow. Okay, so now let's go to the layer mask of our image layer, select a brush tool and with the black foreground, let's remove those visible darks that are not part of the subject's shadow. Okay, so now let's go to this layer mask and with the brush tool with the black foreground, let's remove these messy parts of our subject's hair. And now let's go back to this layer mask, choose a brush tool and click this icon to change the foreground color to white and let's paint back the hair from this layer mask. And to make our subject blend more to the background, let's create a new layer, let's select the brush tool and with the white foreground, let's paint in some light on the right side. And change the blending mode from normal to soft light. And let's go to this image layer, let's use a smudge tool and let's remove those fringes by smudging the edges. And there you go, we are done with our tutorial for today. So I hope you've learned something from this tutorial and if you do, hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new content. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video.